Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I am in the 2016 Nissan LEAF and since this is my first fully electric vehicle which I've had in for a review, I thought instead of just doing a review of the car I'd talk about some of the advantages of electric cars in general over gasoline or diesel powered cars because there are a fair amount of reasons why you may want to choose an electric vehicle rather than a gasoline or diesel powered car. Now the first benefit is a performance issue and this has to do with the fact that electric vehicles uh, have instant torque. So the second you press down on the gas pedal, you're going to get immediate torque. And I think most people realize uh, that electric motors create peak torque at zero RPM. So if you're at a standstill and you press on the gas, you're getting the most amount of torque your car can produce immediately. And that's a really fun thing, especially for these low powered cars, because typically in low powered cars, you don't get that torque until higher RPM and you never really feel the sensation of acceleration. But one of the things I think people don't think about with that immediate torque at zero RPM is how long you actually spend in the lower speeds. And so I take a 50 mile uh, approximately uh, fuel economy course, which I take all these vehicles in, and that's mostly highway. And yet, even though it's mostly highway, the majority of that drive, my average speed uh, is 35 to 40 miles an hour for that entire drive. So about half the time I'm spending under 35 miles an hour. And that's where an electric vehicle, you know, it's actually going to be fun to drive because it's got punchy acceleration. It's got all that torque immediately available the second you put your foot down, uh, which gives it, you know, it's fun. Like here I am at 30 miles an hour. I put my foot down and I could hear one of the tires start to spin. You're not going to get that in an economy car. Like, and this has, you know, similar power to those, but it has all that torque down low. Now, number two is maintenance, and this is a big one. With an electric car, there's no engine oil change or oil filter, there's no engine air filter, and often there's no transmission fluid to change either. No spark plugs, no exhaust system, and in this leaf, I haven't found anywhere in the owner's manual saying to flush the coolant system. The only required maintenance on this leaf seems to be a tire rotation, cabin air filter change, and brake fluid change, as well as visual inspections, all of which apply to internal combustion cars as well. Really, your only wear items are your tires, wiper blades, and brake pads. And as far as the brake pads are concerned, most of your braking will be done by the electric motors, regenerating energy for the battery, so the brake pads will last significantly longer than non-hybrid gas cars. From a maintenance standpoint, there's really no question which technology is superior. And on the topic of batteries, most modern electric cars come with eight year warranties, guaranteeing sufficient battery life for those eight years. Number three, I wanna talk about efficiency because it's kind of mind blowing how much more efficient electric cars are versus internal combustion cars. I was reading a study out of Tribology International and according to that study, 33% of the energy in an internal combustion engine goes out the exhaust. A third of the energy created gone out the exhaust. So with an electric car, you're instantly eliminating that. You've got that 33% gain because you don't have an exhaust. You're not just sending out energy as heat out of a tailpipe. Now, according to the same study, electric cars also have 50% less frictional losses than internal combustion cars. So, you know, the, the energy savings is huge here. I was reading on fueleconomy.gov uh, that electric cars are three times as efficient as internal combustion cars. So if you think about the amount of money you're spending to propel your car, three times more of that money uh, is being used to propel your car in an electric car versus an internal combustion car. Or you could think of it as from the grid to the wheels, it takes three times less energy to move an electric car from one spot to another than it does an internal combustion car. And that's just crazy. Like it's a huge difference in efficiency. And that's really cool, you know, that electric cars are that capable and that efficient. Number four is the convenience factor. The fact that you can charge this vehicle at your own home and you no longer have to rely on gas stations. And I think that's a big, you know, advantage. The fact that every time you leave your home, you can leave with your car with a full tank, uh, in this case, a full tank of electrons. And so that's pretty cool. You know, you don't have to rely on gas stations. Uh, and oftentimes you can, you know, you can bring it to work and have free charging stations at your job. Uh, so then you're having your work foot the bill rather than you and you know charging it at home it's much cheaper overall than having to you know go to a gas station and you know you have to depend on fluctuating gasoline prices versus electricity which tends to be much more stable and much cheaper so there's a huge convenience factor uh, in charging your car at your own home and not having to go to gas stations uh, for shorter distance trips 
And finally, number five, I just wanna talk about the overall cost of it because you can lease these electric vehicles for insanely low prices. I've seen plenty of electric cars under $200 a month, some even with no money down uh, for $200 a month for the lease. And if you think about that, you know, the average fuel cost for a car these days is probably around, you know, maybe $2,000 a year, maybe $1,500 to $2,000 a year. So that's already paying for nearly half of the car uh, just in fuel alone. The Monroney sticker for this vehicle says on average you're going to be spending $600 a year uh, in fuel and electricity uh, versus, you know, an internal combustion engine. So this is saying it'll save you six grand over the course of five years versus the average new vehicle. So that's an insane cost savings and the fact that you can lease these for 200 bucks a month uh, You don't have to worry about you know the battery degradation or anything like that because it's a lease you know, You're getting uh, an absurd amount of value for an extremely low price uh, And in some cases it may be cheaper than the amount of gasoline that you're buying every month um, So from a cost perspective, you know, you don't have the maintenance the electricity is cheaper and the lease is really cheap So electric vehicles can be had for a very low cost and that's certainly a huge advantage to them so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Now, in this case, you do actually have to uh, compensate for the lack of noise and give it your own wham.